Hey, hi guys. Welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check how we can migrate uh, SQL data to no SQL data. So that means like uh, we are uh, going to demonstrate how we can uh, transfer or migrate data of MySQL tables to Elasticsearch Index by using log stash pipelines. Okay, so there is often requirement where like uh, we have uh, uh, we have to migrate our uh, database to no SQL database or faster database uh, But uh, we see certain challenges. So for that uh, we can use uh, ELK stack and uh, we can convert one data format into another data format like we can convert uh, MySQL table data into like uh, Elasticsearch index data. So agenda of today's session is like uh, we will see uh, how we can download and install uh, uh, Logstash 8.8.0. Then uh, we will uh, go through like a uh, starting Elasticsearch and Kibana. Then uh, we will create MySQL sample tables that we will demonstrate to migrate the data. Then we will create Logstash pipeline configuration along with the MySQL connectors. Then we will configure that pipeline into Elasticsearch setup and uh, we will run that config and we will visualize that data into uh, Elas uh, Elasticsearch Kibana dashboard. And by using discovery tab, so we will uh, see the dashboard of uh, or we will see the how that uh, data getting logged into Elasticsearch. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so before starting, uh, so we will see like uh, in one liner, like what is Logstash and uh, how it is useful for uh, transferring or converting the data formats. So Logstash is a free and open source server data that is a data processing pipeline. So that ingests data from multiple sources, transform it and it sends to the your uh, favorite stash that is a, and that sends data to your Elasticsearch. So if you talk about Logstash skeleton, so these are the simple building blocks. Uh, one is like an input where we will define the what is the input of the system. Like uh, in our case, it is a MySQL. Then there is a filter. Uh, so the filter will be like uh, it is the business logic we are going to apply. Like what fields are going to change or what type of metadata is going to change. So that we can apply here. And uh, in the output, output section we are like uh, just uh, migrating that to Elasticsearch. So in the output, Elasticsearch details will be there. So here in the JDBC, you have to give the database connection details in order to connect with data. And here in output, we will give the Elasticsearch connection details to in order to connect with that. The whole job of data transformation that will be done by Logstash. Okay, so go to browser and uh, download the Logstash. So download Logstash. So go to Elasticsearch link and uh, here it is mentioned that uh, download Logstash for windows so we are uh, going to download for windows okay so we have already downloaded this so we will say this cancel okay so you can see this uh, logstash 8.8.0 so that is a downloaded so just we need to extract it here so like just extract here so we have already extracted here uh, so this logstash 8.8.0 so uh, now like now let's create the logstash config and then uh, we will start the logstash. So before that, uh, uh, in order to work with logstash, so we need uh, Elasticsearch and Kibana to be started. So for that, like if you want to know how to download and install Elasticsearch and Kibana, so you can refer my earlier videos. So here it is mentioned. So here uh, we have done with 7.9.3. Here we have done with 8.5. So 8.8 .8 is similar to 8.5. Okay. Okay, so our Elasticsearch, uh, Elasticsearch and Kibana is already started. So let's uh, write the configuration for Logstash and we will start the uh, Logstash also. So as I mentioned, so we need uh, this uh, input JDBC. Uh, here we need to define the JDBC and here we need, need to define the Elastic connection. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so what we are doing here, so, so we are defining this library. So we need to download this MySQL connector. So we have to go to this website, Maven repository. And here you have to search for a MySQL connector latest version. So currently 8.33 is latest, but 8.30 is stable. So we have to download this jar. So click on this jar so that this jar will be downloaded. So now, so you can, you can copy this jar. So create one folder here called as a log stash slash com uh, paste the jar here okay and uh, this path we have to uh, mention into our uh, configuration file so go here 
so speed tools log test com you can replace it and this is the name of the jar so that we have to mention so this is this is about uh, mysql connector then we need to define the driver in order to connect with database that is a mysql jdbc driver then we have to define the connection string so where like uh, i want to connect for mysql and this is our database name so that is a mysql db then uh, we have this jdbc username and jdbc password and uh, we have this uh, statement to fetch the data from uh, this uh, database and this is a table name so this is a sample data like uh, this is my mysql workbench so this is some sample data so i have like a film table okay so i have thousand records and uh, i have data related to sample data related to film so we have the film information so what is the film name description release year language id and uh, rental rate special features last update so that that type of data we have so these are thousand records so we need to uh, like we will connect with this this uh, mysql data and we will uh, transform to no sql data that is a json format data okay so this uh, select star from mysql db dot film so that i have mentioned here select star from mysql db dot film so this data we need to transform then uh, user column value so this is the metadata you need to define in statement you have to define this query and uh, this is the tracking column so now tracking column will be your uh, anything you that is in date format so you can give last underscore update so here you can mention last underscore update okay so last underscore update and uh, this category now this input section is done so just now we have to define the output section so in the output section we need to define the connection for elastic search so let me copy this so in the output section like uh, we have this uh, we have to insert data into elastic search so provide the details for elastic search let this of host for elastic search is a local host 9200 port with the https port uh, https protocol and then uh, i have to insert data into film index so so i will name as a film underscore idx okay so our uh, username is uh, elastic and password is here so password like uh, you need to note pa uh, note the password when the elastic search is starting at the first time so this name is uh, your password so keep it here this password then uh, then there is one another uh, thing we need to do because uh, this uh, latest version of elastic search is uh, totally focused on ssl so for now we are uh, disabling this certificate validation only so we will make ssl as a true but certification validation as a false and then uh, this output section is done so input section output section done so filter will be uh, like what whatever the things that we want to change in between so that we need to define into filter so that is a mutate so we are doing mutation from one source to destination okay so inside this so we will add some basic uh, thing okay so what is this filter so in this filter suppose we need to add some fields so we can add underscore field then we can remove some uh, some fields so by default what elastic searches do so it will add the version so we don't need that version so we need to remove this uh, remove this field suppose like uh, in uh, elastic search underscore id we want to maintain particular primary key of uh, sql table then we can mention in that way okay like copy this film id as a metadata underscore id so for now we are not looking for this yeah so this is done configuration file is done just save it so where we will save it so you can see this log stash 8.8.0 inside that there is a config folder so go to config and type as a film underscore config dot conf this is the log stash this is the configuration file and this is the film underscore config dot config okay so that's it so now we are ready to start the elastic search so go to elastic search bin folder so we are now config so go to bin folder go to bin type cmd okay so we need to write this command so in the bin folder we have a log stash directory okay so you can see this log stash. We, we need to invoke this log stash okay and with the minus f command so write log stash minus f then we need to define that configuration file path 
so i will define config and uh, configuration file name okay film okay so we have defined this configuration file and one more parameter we need to define because uh, logs test some uh, sometimes like it, it will not uh, pick up that configuration automatically so we need to define this config reload automatic so it will pick up this configuration file automatically so that's it let's start this so it will start this log stash process and converting data into log stash so meanwhile meanwhile it runs so go to kibana so our kibana is already started so this is the local host 56014 so log into kibana type elastic as a server and password as this okay so log stash is starting meanwhile our kibana is also started so go to dev tools okay so this is dev tools let's verify this key log stash okay so log stash is successfully started api endpoint on 9600 okay okay so there is no index called film earlier so get Film underscore idx. Okay, so there is no index since beginning, so it will create this index and insert data into this index. And uh, we have pipeline terminated, so our uh, log stash uh, job is completed. So let's see if yeah, so log stash output uh, elastic search. So this index is getting created. Okay, so let's verify this if uh, this uh, created uh, data into Elasticsearch or not. So go to Kibana URL and uh, just like uh, this is the film idea so that we have told to insert data here. So just check if data is available. Yeah, so we got 1000 records and uh, we got this data also. So we got this uh, at the timestamp also that uh, this is the like uh, data we have inserted from SQL. So this commentary is deleted scenes and uh, this special features description rental duration so this description then uh, these are like special features rental duration everything okay so this 1000 records and here also like uh, 1000 rows are written okay so it has written all data into elastic search so there is another way to verify what we have to do so we have to go to discover tab so we have to visualize data in more analytical way so for that what we have to do so go to this manage this data view so we have this uh, film idx created so we need to create this index pattern again so here like uh, you have to give this name as film idx and uh, here also we have to give film idx so you have index pattern one matching source okay so just save this confirm yes yeah you can see uh, like we have 1000 hits and uh, around like uh, 1854 so we got this count of records you can see this count of records thousand records are written and it, at this particular time and uh, what are these particular records so you can see these are some documents and this is the value of film that is uh, unbelievable yarn inspiration pattern panorama this saga of crocodile and uh, this, this is the details of the, our uh, film id language id last update so these are like these details you can see this uh, data this is the description this is the film id this is the film name like this uh, this is like more analytical way so we can find the patterns here okay to summarize this uh, so we are able to visualize data into elastic search so whatever data into mysql in uh, like a tabular format or table format so this is the table format uh, data migrated to elastic search from this data to this data one question coming into your mind like we have this uh, indices also foreign keys also so how that uh, that will be transferred to this so elastic is a no sql database so they are like implementation of uh, foreign keys and uh, primary keys in a different manner so they are like uh, there are different indices with a different attribute okay so that will be taken care in no sql way so this way like uh, we can uh, migrate our uh, sql data to elastic search by using log stash pipeline configuration stay tuned for uh, further interesting sessions and thanks a lot for watching